Okay, well, the big question of the hour, it's on everybody's lips. What's the difference between a fiddle and a violin? I'm here at the Artist Works School of All Music here. We're at the World Headquarters. I'm recording some more lessons for my fiddle school. And uh, just flying out here on the plane, uh, with my, I was traveling with my little case, and I, the guy behind me said, hey, I got a question for you. What's the difference between a fiddle and a violin? Well, I think that most people know the joke. The best joke about the difference between a fiddle and a violin is that nobody cares if you spill beer on a fiddle. But technically, there is no actual difference there. Um, you know, there's no law that says that you can only play country music, no matter what country, on a fiddle, and you can only play Western European art music on a violin. A violin is a fiddle. You can play any kind of music on any instrument. That's, that's the truth. Um, any bowed instrument, you're, you know. So that's really, it's just about the style. And I know many very wonderful professional classical musicians, uh, violinists, that do occasionally refer to their instrument as a fiddle. It's just a term of endearment, really. It's just this, this old fiddle. Um, and there are, it comes, of course, from uh, a German word meaning fiddle, violin, same thing. And so it's really, they're interchangeable. Now, that said, uh, there are some loose definitions. Um, if you are playing music from sheets, if you're playing dots, if you're reading, oh, no, oh, that's the wrong note there. I, I, there was a smudge on the paper. So much better. Um, that would be considered, I suppose, violin playing, generally. These are very loose definitions. But if you're just playing by ear, if you're playing dance music, if you're playing any kind of music that's meant to be danced to or just enjoyed. No matter what style, whether Celtic, country, uh, you know, Brazilian, you know, any kind of, you know, Swedish fiddle music, that's fiddling, where you're playing, you might be playing something that's worked out, set in stone, but you're playing it by ear, you're playing it from memory, um, or you might be making it up, jazz, violin, you're still making up your solo, right? But jazz, fiddle, you're still making up your solo. So it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's very... Uh, a loose definition, but I would say that fiddle is anything that's sort of vernacular. Um, it's not, you know, um, that you can tap your foot to, you can, you know, move your shoulders up and down to, and not get funny looks from people. So, yeah, um, some fiddles might have a little flatter bridge. You can see that the bridge is curved so that you can get to each string without getting in the way of the other strings. Uh, many fiddles have a flatter bridge. Um, a lot of fiddles are pretty beat up, but I know a lot of beautiful violins that are also pretty beat up. 400-year-old violins they have been around. They've got plenty of scratches in them. They sound fine. So again, you know, the definitions are loose, but uh, any fiddle, can be a violin, and any violin can be a fiddle, depending on the player and what they're doing and what the gig is. So that's my answer. So if you want to know about this issue and a lot more, come hang out at the Artist Works School of Fiddle. That's my online fiddle school at artistworks.com, and I've got interviews and all kinds of lessons and all kinds of information about the fiddle, the violin, and everything in between, including 
the bow. Ha!